Hi, welcome back to Satoku Tech. I follow M5 Stack on Twitter so that I can keep up with all their current events. And here you see they have a new version of UIFlow. And I don't have any of the new modules that they added. So I just wanted to check and see if there's any other new features. Oh, look at this. They've added the terminal to the beta version of UIFlow. It requires a Chrome browser. I'm using Firefox at the moment. But when we open it up in Edge, yeah, we can open up that terminal window. That's going to be kind of interesting. Now I realize I don't have anything to connect to yet. <laughs> so we got to get busy here. I'm going to get out my little M5 stack Atom Light, And we're going to send something to the terminal via the serial port on the Atom. In the meantime, let's look and see what else is new in UIFlow. Ah, there's new shortcut keys. So open the recent blocks panel, create a variable. I love that because I hate having to go back into the menu to create a variable. You, you, you're writing the code. I just need another variable right now. Run, download, undo, redo, and then some shortcut keys for when you're designing in the user interface designer. That's over on the left-hand side of the screen there. It sure seems like they've made the run and download buttons a little more prominent. Oh, look at this. This is the manager. This lets you manage files on your device. Images, you can store your blocky files, and certificates. I don't recall seeing that before. Down here is the abbreviated user interface shortcut keys here. I'm going to go ahead and fire up M5 Burner. I did a previous video about M5 Burner, the new version, so you're going to want to take a look at that. So M5 Burners, basically we're going to use that to prepare our Atom to work with UIFlow, the web version. So I've already downloaded an image for the Atom light. That's interesting. I've never noticed this button before. It says, do you want to use the same Wi-Fi as your computer? I'm going to be honest with you though. I didn't have much luck with that. We'll see in a second here. We'll go ahead and burn that. We're going to speed some of this up for brevity's sake. Yeah, so once I've burnt the image, then I can go into UI flow configuration. And of course, you want to be in internet mode because we're going to use the UI flow, flow.m5 stack version. It also has that little tile that you can click to say, use your computer's Wi-Fi. You want to make sure to copy the API key because that's part of connecting your device to the online version of UIFlow. There we go. We go ahead and save that. And just for kicks, I went back in and said, yeah, use the same Wi-Fi as my computer and sent that. But it never connected to the Wi-Fi. I don't know why. I'll investigate that and get back to you. So I went ahead and typed in my SSID and password and we saved that in configuration. You see it flashing red, flashing blue, then it's flashing green. And when it's just pulsing like that, that means it's ready to connect to UIFlow. So we hit connect, select our device, the Atom, put in our API key, and you can see we're connected. Let's write something that uses the serial port so that we can monitor it in that terminal. So I got a loop. We'll introduce a one second wait. Hardware is down here, UART. We're just going to do a simple write a line hello world to UART1. I still think I'm missing something. Come to find out I've never done anything <laughs> with, with the serial port previously. So I'm going to use one of their examples. Ah, yeah, there you go. You want to make sure to set up your serial interface. Yeah, so I just need to grab that top bar. And we're going to throw away the rest of that. There we go. And just throw that in the waste bin. Okay, this looks like it's going to work. We initiate the serial port and then we loop writing hello world. So we hit run. Let's refresh our connection. Make sure we're connected. There we go. We're connected to our atom. You hit run. There we go. The code's executing. We can open up that terminal. Now we click here to connect and we're going to connect to COM8 serial port. 
there we go. We see the Hello World coming through. So that's cool. M5 Stack, UI Flow, the beta version at flow.m5stack.com has several new features you're going to want to check out. So please give this video a like, questions, comments down below. And before you go watch more of my M5 Stack videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.